Are you looking to set up your new router for your FTTP or full fiber connection? Or maybe you just want to double check the credentials that are in that router are correct. Well, in this video, I'll show you exactly how you can do that. So the first thing we need to do is open up your browser of choice and go to 192.168.178.1 and what this will do is it will take you to the Fritzbox interface. If you're not greeted by this screen, the chances are your router is not connected to your device. Just double check that if you're connecting via wire, that wire is seated correctly or if you're connecting via Wi-Fi, just make sure that you are indeed connected. When you're greeted with this screen, you'll need to log in, and the password for this you'll find on the bottom of your router. Now, the one you want to enter is the one that says Fritzbox password, not the Wi-Fi password. And then you want to click login. And this will take you to the main screen of the Fritzbox. From this screen, what you're going to want to do is click on internet on the left-hand side, and go to account information. Now you want to make sure this says internet service provider of Zen Internet. And then for your username, you want to enter the Zen username that you'll have got in your welcome email. And this will look something like zen12345 at zen. And you'll also want to enter in the password that came with that. And then if you scroll down and click change connection settings, scroll down and make sure maintain permanently is ticked. But then you're going to want to tick via an external modem. And here is where you're going to enter the speeds of your connection. So if you have full fiber 2, for example, you're going to want to enter 80 down and 20 up. And then if you scroll down and click apply, this will now apply the settings to your connection. And as you can see here, the LAN guest access feature will no longer be available while it's in this mode. So that is where you have the one of your LAN ports set up for a guest. Uh, that will no longer be available as you're using that port for the FTTP connection. So if you click OK, and then here we go again. So applying the settings, the LAN 1 port of the Fritz box will become a WAN port. So what that basically means is uh, the LAN 1 port, uh, you'll no longer be able to access the Fritz box interface via because it's going to become basically a dedicated port for the ONT. And as it says below here, if you need access to the Fritz box, you'll need to do it via Wi-Fi or LAN 2, 3, or 4. Then you click OK. And it'll apply those settings. There you go. And it's all sorted. So you click OK. And your router is now set up to be connected via FTTP. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, click on that like button below. If you want to see more of these videos, be sure to click on that subscribe button. And until next time, thank you very much.